Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land Thank you. Let's pray together. Our Father God in heaven, we are full today of thankfulness. God, we have to acknowledge that you're far better to us than we ever deserve. And God, as we come together now as a police department, as a community, as families, God, that we are about to celebrate an accomplishment in a professional career of these brave men and women. God, it's an exciting time for them. This is a job well done, many weeks of training, and they're ready to progress to the next level of their training experience. But it's also a time to recognize the sacrifices given by family and friends for those who've made this day possible for these uh, officers. So God, I pray that they'll feel encouraged. God, we are excited as a police department. God, we know as we add new members to our organization, to our team, that God, the future is very bright for us as we see these very capable officers going to go out into the community to protect and to serve. So God, I pray that this ceremony, this time together will bring honor to you and bring a blessing to these officers. God, I pray that all things said and done will be honoring in your name. And Father God, I pray that as we spend time together today, that we'll feel encouraged, we'll feel challenged, and we'll feel ready to do what you've called us to do. For it's in your holy and powerful name we pray. Amen. Please be seated. Well, again, good morning and welcome everyone to the graduation ceremony for class 10 2015. My name is Brenna Angel. I'm the public information officer for the Lexington Police Department. I'd like to introduce several of our, our dignitaries who are up on stage Mayor Jim Gray, Public Safety Commissioner Ronnie Baston, Chief Mark Barnard, and our guest speaker today, Richard Gaines, Senior Pastor from Consolidated Baptist Church. I'd also like to recognize our command staff. Sitting in the front row, we have Assistant Chief Dwayne Holman, Assistant Chief Sean Coleman, Assistant Chief Ron Compton, and Assistant Chief Lawrence Weathers. Uh, we've got a really full house today, and uh, normally that is always the case with our graduation ceremonies. Uh, class 10 2015 is actually the largest recruit class for the Lexington Police Department since 1998, so we really appreciate everyone coming out here. At this time, I'd like to welcome Chief Mark Barner to the podium. Thank you. Thank you everyone for coming out. I know it's hot, I apologize. It's a full crowd and I'm very thankful and I know the officers are. But I want to, quick, and when you do this, you're always in a moment that you might forget somebody. So if I do, I apologize. But I do want to thank the people that have come out today that have supported us uh, and constantly support us. And uh, Mayor Gray, thank you. I know your schedule's packed making room for today. Commissioner Baston, thank you. 
Pastor Gaines, I don't know how many times he's spoken at our academy and his eloquent words are always appreciated. We appreciate having you. Uh, our public safety family, which is very supportive and I'm appreciative of that. Uh, we support each other and, and we have the uh, community corrections. They're here today, thank you all. Transylvania PD's here. Uh, the fire command staff has shown here in public safety, I think, representing each other and supporting is very important for our community. And then I, I also like to take the opportunity to thank our council members. I got to speak to a lot of you all, but if I, I miss somebody, please let me know. But council member Lamb, if, if you're here, council member Fred Brown and James Brown, I think Fred's over here. So thank you all so much for coming out today and supporting us. And actually, we'll see you all at 2 o'clock with the links committee. So thank you all very much. So with all the thanks for people coming out today and thank the families, and let me start off by first, let me tell you what a pleasure it is to be here with you all on this very special day. I spoke to the recruits yesterday, and they're leaving the recruit stage heading to become a police officer. I'm honored to stand here sharing this moment with you and as you can tell with your families as you begin your career as a Lexington police officer. For your graduates today, today's a day of celebration and accomplishment. Look over the past 32 weeks, the longest academy in the state, 32 weeks, and look at the dedication, sacrifice, and discipline it took to reach this moment to become a Lexington police officer. Look in the past at all you have done to get to this moment and feel proud of your accomplishment today. I ask and challenge you to pursue your career as a Lexington police officer with vigor and enthusiasm. Continue to seek educational and training opportunities, read and research about your chosen profession, and always, always seek constant improvement. Officers that have served our community will tell you that the true rewards of our job have very little to do with what we receive and everything to do with what we give. You are blessed with a career that affords you to make a difference in someone's life. Seize that moment. Maintain a positive outlook. As your career progresses, I can tell you that one of the biggest challenges you will face will be in your own mind, and that is your attitude. There will be times you feel uncertain, unappreciated, or possibly even slighted. If you choose to be positive and fulfilled, and that's your decision, then you will be. Police work and the service to others can be all-consuming if you let it. Keep in balance in your life. Keep balance in your life. Ground yourselves, and I think that's a testament today to what you see and what we have preached to you. Ground yourselves in family, faith, and friends. And I think today that's a testament that we all can see. In a world with so much conflict, uncertainty, and divisiveness that we see played out every day, there are qualities that will always stand the test of time. Never forget character, compassion, and judgment. We spoke of this yesterday. Be a person to look in time, be a person others look to in a time of need. Be compassion and tolerant for everyone. Keeping an open mind and using all your life experiences, education, and training to make decisions. Be a person that inspires others and provides hope and direction to those around you and to those you serve. And always hold service at the, your core. Finally, I ask you maintain the sense of accomplishment you feel today. It is not a right to wear this badge. It is a privilege bestowed upon you by the community you will serve. Remember the traits that got you here today. Dedication, sacrifice, service, and discipline. Remember all those. In you, we all invest our future. We empower you to protect and serve all the citizens of Lexington. Today, on behalf of all the citizens of Lexington and everyone here in your families, we congratulate you. Thank you for providing a service to our community and best wishes. And thank you very much.
Thank you, Chief Barnard. And as the chief mentioned, we are very fortunate to have Mayor Jim Gray with us. I used to work in the mayor's office, and I can tell you he is a very busy man, always running from one spot to another in this city. And uh, he actually has another commencement address today. Um, so at this time, I'd like to welcome our mayor, Jim Gray. Well, <clears throat> thanks, Brenna. And you know, before first things first, uh, join me in giving another hand of applause to a great leader in our community, and that is our police chief, Mark Barnard, who just spoke. <laughs> well, this is a proud day for all of you recruits and your families. To Commis Commissioner Baston, to the chief, of course, it's a proud day for your training academy staff and the city of Lexington. These 40 recruits, yes, 40, the largest recruit class in almost 20 years, are joining a proud tradition dedicated to the safety of Lexington and all its citizens. We are all proud of the outstanding record of our police officers. I want to speak briefly about the importance, the significance of today and what you're about to do. By choosing to become a police officer, taking the oath of office today, you are taking on a big responsibility for the city of Lexington. You're putting your own safety and your life on the line to protect our community, our citizens. And from this moment on, your friends, family, neighbors, and acquaintances will see you as a police officer. And that goes for when you're not in uniform as well. You will be recognized as someone who can be trusted, a leader. And everyone here knows that this job is not for everyone. It isn't easy. You don't need me to tell you how stressful and dangerous the job of a police officer can be. As mayor, I routinely say that even on a bad day, I've got a great job. And I hope that will be true for you in your work as well. Because of the proud tradition of this department, you will have the respect and support of our citizens and also from the council, all of those council members, those who aren't here today, those who are here today. There's always a lot of focus on the importance of police officers in helping fight violence in our community, in solving and preventing crimes. That's why public safety is the core value of our city. But it's also important to remember the duties of a police officer that don't make the headlines, but can make a big difference to our citizens. In talking with Chief Barnard and the training academy staff, it's clear that this is a very impressive recruit class. They said this class reflects teamwork in all they do. Teamwork, important. We all know there's no I. There is no I in teamwork. And that's a big deal. You will need each other in order to stay positive, even in the challenging times. Now I want to say a special thank you to the families and friends. They have already sacrificed by supporting all of you, as you've earned the right to be a part of this graduation. So to the family and the friends who are here today, thank you all very much. And finally, graduates, thank you. Thank all of you for making this choice to become a Lexington police officer. You are joining a great organization with an extraordinary legacy, one with extraordinary leadership and the highest standards. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Gray. And at this time, I'd like to call to the podium someone who is no stranger to the Lexington Police Department, former chief and now our Commissioner of Public Safety, Mr. Ronnie Baston. Thank you, Brenna. This is a proud day for me and a proud day for the public safety team here in Lexington. It's, uh, it's always great to come and come to a recruit graduation and look at the faces of the recruits that are graduating, but 
even more importantly, the faces of those who've supported them and raised them and, and really had a whole lot to do with uh, who these people have become. So I want to say thank you to all of those who've been in a supportive role or parental role or whatever with uh, the graduates that we have here today. I know what it takes to get where they're sitting. Uh, they're special people. We look for special people to serve our community. And the fact that they're sitting here today at this point uh, indicates to me that that's exactly what we have. To the recruits, congratulations. I know how hard it, it is to get through this and how much commitment it takes to get through what you've just gone through. And you're, you're just now really getting the license to learn. You're going to be learning from now on. So it's going to be a great time for you. It's going to be an exciting time. But you're, uh, you're well positioned, you're well trained, you're well led uh, to do the best job that you possibly can do for this community. And that's what we're all here for. So congratulations. I'm thankful that, you know, for who you are and what you stand for and what you've chosen to do. Uh, to the rest of the public safety team, you know, this is, uh, we're very blessed here in this community. Sometimes I think they're taken for granted, but man, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't matter what the situation is. We pull together and we get the job done. We get it done in a professional way. So I, I hope you as citizens understand that, you see that, and you recognize it when we uh, are dealing with some of the most important things and serious things that happen in our community. I'm proud to be a part of it. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Baston. And now for our guest speaker, as the Chief Barnard said, uh, Pastor Gaines is, is also a good friend to our department, and I'd like to call him forward at this time for his remarks. Pastor Gaines. Good afternoon to each of you. We greet you in that name that is above every other name, and I express my sincere thanks to our chief and uh, these dignitaries that are here for the invitation to stand before you for a few minutes uh, this afternoon. It's almost a quarter after 12. Some of us have already missed lunch. So I will take some wisdom from the late great Elizabeth Taylor who told the last of her several husbands, we won't keep you too long. <laughs> Congratulations to these graduates that sit before us on this day. What an accomplishment. There are just a few things I want to leave with you today. I want to both encourage you and challenge you at the same time. If I were to title this, I would simply say some things you must know. First of all, I want to encourage you as you take the field, if I can speak in an athletic analogy, uh, no where you're playing, know your place. And by place, I mean the geographics of Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, you must understand the times that we live in and the place in which you do what you do. More than ever, your work is being scrutinized and even criticized, brought on by the negative actions of just the few, a small minority that has resulted in the gaze of a nation upon your every call to protect and serve. It is here in Lexington, Kentucky, the second largest city in Kentucky, the 61st largest city in these United States of America, that you have chosen to serve, and your work is that of service. Uh, Lexington is a college town. University of Kentucky is here, Transylvania University is here, and they serve as anchors of education in our beloved community. Financially, it is home to local banks as well as nationally owned banks. And together, they serve a population of both the haves and the have-nots. And you've been called to serve both. I encourage you to build relationships within the community, not simply to access information, but to actually make deposits into the lives of those you serve. Know your place. Secondly, know your people. Know those that you are serving. Lexington is a very diverse town. I already hinted that it's a college town, but not only is it a college town, it's a horse town. It's a tobacco town. It's a distillery town, a town made up of young and old, rich and poor, uh, urban and rural. From the north they've come, from the south they've come. We are black, we are white, we are Republican, we are Democrat, we're independent. 
uh, we're brown, we're yellow, we're every tint in between. And we all see the world through the own lenses of our own personal experiences. Some of us are native Lexitonians. And some of these will never, some have come from different parts of the world. We're transplants, if you will. Some are from Kansas, while others are from Kenya. Some are from London, Kentucky, and others come from as far away as London, England. Some are from Paris, just down the road, Kentucky. Others come from as far away as Paris, France. But the world has literally come to our door and is now part of the family and fabric of Lexington, Kentucky, many of which will never return to their original homes. And so Lexington has become home for them and will remain their home for at least a little while. And all of these in their diversities, you have been called to serve and to protect. And finally, I'm almost through, know your purpose. It has been said that real peace is never found within the heart of a man or woman until he or she discovers his or her purpose. Your purpose, your calling, that which you have committed yourselves to and will take oaths to is to protect and serve. In just a few moments, you're going to receive the final word of affirmation that will send you into this maze of a community called Lexington with one charge, and that is to protect and to serve. You are sworn by oath to do it squarely and fairly at the risk of life and liberty. How you do that we reflect upon the life and service of your fellow officers within the Fayette County Police Department. I personally do not envy the task ahead of you, but I do appreciate your will and dedication and to your commitment to this service. Never lose sight that God has ordained government. You as a part of this government are not only under the watchful eye of this community, but you under the watchful eye of a God in heaven looking down who will observe how you are handling his policing business. I would encourage you, I will pray for you, we all will do that, that you would leave a legacy that those who have served before you would be proud of, and those who come after you would embrace what you do as a vocation for themselves. Today we honor you as graduates. In the future, our simple hope for you is that you would again be honored for the great work you have done. Our prayer is that at some point you and your families would again gather on this occasion to hear the words, well done, you've done a good job. Again, in athletic terms, uh, Vince Lombardi, the former coach of the Green Bay Packers, my son's favorite football team. This is cowboy country, don't, don't start that. Vince Lombardi was heard to say that the joy of athletics and a great athlete is to, at the end of the battle, at the end of the struggle, to be found lying on the field, beaten, bloodied, and battered, but victorious. Uh, we'll leave the blood aside, the beating and the battering, but victorious. Because when you win, all of Lexington wins. May the Lord watch over you. May the Lord protect you. May the Lord keep you safe, and we simply say to you, congratulations and welcome aboard. Thank you, Pastor Gaines, for those inspiring words. Now you know why we keep asking him to come back. <laughs> All right, now is the time that we have been waiting for. I will ask Mayor Gray to come back up to the podium for the administration of the oath of office. And I know there are a few of you all who are not from the Commonwealth of Kentucky and may not have heard our unique oath. Um, it is rather unique. And I think the mayor will explain that here in a minute. So, Mayor. Well, thank, thanks again, Brenna. And um, let's give Pastor Pastor Gaines, another another applause for that speech. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, <clears throat> Brenna Brenna called it well. She said that uh, Kentucky's oath of office is unique. And at one time in our history, some of you all know that duels, duels with pistols and deadly weapons, were a common practice in Kentucky. 
to defend one's honor. So eventually these duels became unacceptable and an illegal way to settle disputes. And the Kentucky Constitution was ratified in 1891 to reflect that. Well, more than 120 years later, the language about fighting a duel still stands in the oath, but Kentucky remains the only state in the country to include duels in its oath of office. So the pledge that these recruits are about to receive, about to offer, makes it rather special and unique. So now I will ask the recruits to please stand and raise your right hand. I do solemnly swear I will ask you to respond after I read the oath. I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this Commonwealth and be faithful and true to the Commonwealth of Kentucky so long as I continue a citizen thereof and I will faithfully execute to the best of my ability the office of police officer according to law and that I possess the qualifications required by statute and ordinance. And I do further solemnly swear that since the adoption of the present Constitution, I, being a citizen of this state, have not fought a duel with deadly weapons within this state nor out of it, nor have I sent or accepted a challenge to fight a duel with deadly weapons, nor have I acted as second in carrying a challenge, nor aided or assisted any person thus offending. So help me God. Please respond, I do. And that means I can say congratulations and everyone here can give you all a big round of applause. There we go. Thank you, Mayor Gray, and again, congratulations to all our new officers. At this time, uh, Chief Barnard, I'll ask you to make your way down, and we're going to do our presentation of certificates. They come, do they come up here? They'll come up here. And we are going to do this in alphabetical order, and I will also say our new officers, the hometown where they are from, and I would ask you to please hold your applause until we get through all 40 officers. R.J. Asbury from Georgetown, Kentucky. Dan Bailey, Mount Sterling, Kentucky. Brandon Baker, Corbin, Kentucky. Nathan Barks, Morgantown, Kentucky. Travis Beatty, Lexington, Kentucky. It's different now. Everybody has phones. You got to hold the pole a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah. It's all different. Yeah. Sure it. Scott Birch, Fancy Farm, Kentucky. Fancy <laughs> 
Jonathan Coyle, Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Michael Encinas, Los Angeles, California. Matt Gilbert, Cambridge City, Indiana. Sean Graham, Stonewood, West Virginia. Nicholas Gray, Campbellsville, Kentucky. <laughs> Patrick Hall, Richmond, Virginia. Slade Holvaz, Lexington, Kentucky. Andrew Head, Lexington, Kentucky. J.R. Heiner, Richmond, Kentucky. <laughs> Paul Hogan, Finley, Ohio. Keaton Hub, Lexington, Kentucky. Oh. Now Keaton Hub.
Jesse Masco, Bainbridge, New York. Calvin Maddox, Lexington, Kentucky. Cody McGowan, Eminence, Kentucky. Keith McKinney, Louisville, Kentucky. Robert McNeil, Lexington, Kentucky. Kid. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Moravchek, Frankfort, Kentucky. Philip Palmer, Winchester, Kentucky. Haley Patterson, Washington, D.C. <clears throat> Michael Pearson, Yorkville, Illinois. Chris Qualls, Versailles, Kentucky. <laughs> Ashley Quick, Edmond, Oklahoma. Jedediah Rash, Campbellsville, Kentucky. Is it video or picture? <laughs> <laughs> Zachary Reidner, Winchester, Kentucky. <laughs> J. 
John Rieselman, Mount Oreb, Ohio. Cody Shepard, Berea, Kentucky. Ethan Smith, South Mills, North Carolina. <laughs> Elizabeth Thomas, Campbellsville, Kentucky. <laughs> Dustin Thompson, Lexington, Kentucky. Chris Toombs, Lexington, Kentucky. Daniel True, Paris, Kentucky. Luke Valdez, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Jacob Webster, Richmond, Kentucky. And our final recruit is Ryan Wells. Unfortunately, his father uh, had a medical emergency right before the ceremony, so please keep Ryan Wells and his family in your thoughts today, but we will uh, make sure he gets a fo good photo op. Well, that is it. That is Class 10 2015. Congratulations again. At this time, we will present the class awards, and as far as I know, the officers do not know who these will be presented to, so this should be kind of exciting. First up is the Firearms Proficiency Award. 
The Firearms Proficiency Award is given to the recruit who scores highest during both the handgun and shotgun qualifications, and the award for firearms proficiency is given to Officer Ethan Smith. The Brian L. Morgan Fitness Award is given to the recruit with the best overall fitness. And the Brian L. Morgan Fitness Award is given to Officer Jesse Masco. The E.C. Hale Scholastic Award is given to the recruit with the highest overall academic grade average. And the E.C. Hale Scholastic Award is given to Officer Paul Hogan. The 110% award recipient is selected by a vote of the class and is given to the recruit who has demonstrated the best attitude, given the most effort, and is the most dedicated. The 110% award is given to Officer Calvin Maddox. And finally, the Chief Mark Barnard Exemplary Achievement Award. This recipient is selected by the members of the training section, and this award is given to the recruit that demonstrated exemplary performance throughout the academy. The Chief Mark Barnard Exemplary Achievement Award is given to Officer Slade Holvaz. Thank you, and at this time, I will ask Officer Paul Hogan to come to the podium and to deliver remarks on behalf of Class 10 2015. Good afternoon. Thank you all for joining us today as we acknowledge the graduation of Lexington Police Training Academy Class 10 2015. 32 weeks ago, 54 recruits began a journey as individuals. We represented 11 different states, Washington, D.C., and one small town in western Kentucky called Fancy Farm. <laughs> we came in dressed in our suits, as prepared as we could be, but we really had no idea what to expect. Over our 32-week journey, we trained endlessly and in every aspect imaginable. Academically, we studied report writing, collision investigations, community-oriented policing, domestic violence, and the law. Physically, we were tested through push-ups, long runs, sprints, squats, and more push-ups. We had to push ourselves and train outside of the academy. We were qualified tactically in firearms, driving, and defensive tactics. We persevered through OC gas and taser exposures together. Through all this training, we learned from failing. We learned from our mistakes, and we made each other better. We learned to help each other and rely on each other. We became active in the Lexington community. Several of us took part in supporting great causes such as the Polar Bear Plunge, Law Enforcement Appreciation Day, Shop with a Cop, Habitat for Humanity, the Daniel Ellis Memorial 5K, and the Booker T. Washington Field Day. There were times that we didn't fully understand the method to the madness, as Sergeant Kidd would say. 
What we see now is the madness has prepared us to be police officers. We learn discipline through polishing our boots and maintaining a high standard of personal appearance. We learned mental toughness as we pushed our minds and bodies past what we thought our limits were. We have finished one of the most difficult experiences many of us have ever encountered. And after that, it's important to thank those that made this journey possible for us. Thank you, Chief, for taking a chance on all of us and selecting us to represent the citizens of Lexington. Thank you to our mentors that have been with us from the beginning and offered us guidance. Thank you to the training staff for pushing us and preparing us for the streets. Thank you to our coordinator, Officer Frazier, for his dedication to us. I'm proud to be a part of this class, and everyone else that graduated today should be too. Thank you for letting me take this journey with you. Most importantly, thank you to our families. Our loved ones have taken this journey with us. They have put up with long nights of studying and shining boots. They've laughed and cried with us. They've given us the motivation to continue when walking away might have been easier. None of us would be walking across this stage without your love and support. For that, we say thank you. Class 10 2015, as we prepare to start the next phase of our careers, don't forget where you came from. Stay true to yourselves as you were selected to be here for a reason. This journey was not for everyone. We came in as 54 individuals, 40 of us would leave as a family. 40 officers are now prepared to answer the call. Wear the badge proudly, live with honor, serve with pride, courage and integrity will be our guide. And on behalf of the class, we'd like to present a plaque to the training staff for their dedication for us, to us. Thank you, Officer Hogan. At this time, uh, I will ask Chief Barnard to come back up for a few closing remarks. Um, before I leave you all, I would just like to give a plug to our social media pages. It, for family members and friends, it's a great way to keep up with uh, what our officers are doing in some of our major cases. So we are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, um, we even have a little fun with our our videos every now and then you may have heard uh, so but it, we will post some pictures later today and uh, I will turn it over to Chief Barnard and following the chief we will have Chaplain Stewart uh, close us out thank you all you know when <clears throat> you get different perspectives in life and, and what you're doing and when talking to people listening to people Pastor Gaines, every time he talks, he makes me laugh, he inspires me. I, I got to say once again, and I know the mayor said it, but thank you again, taking the time out to come out and share with us some of your thoughts. I look at this crowd. It, it's amazing the people that have turned out, and other law enforcement communities don't have the support that we do, and, and we don't want to take that for granted, and we want to earn your trust every day. But being from the perspective of a recruit officer graduating to being a full-time officer, look out over the crowd. Look at the different uniforms that you see. We have representatives in this class that were police officers on our agency or other agencies. We have law enforcement from Alabama that came up to support a relative. It is just tremendous, the support that we have, and we do not take that for granted. So thank you all. Thanks to all of our public safety partners. I'm looking at Mr. Haskins back there, the Georgetown Association, which supports us. This is in their district right now. Uh, Bluegrass Community College, which allows us to have our campus on their campus, our academy, which has been a tremendous value to us. So thank you all for coming out. Thank you for sharing your time with us today. And congratulations to all of you all. Well deserved, well earned. And lastly, with giving a little kudos out to the training staff that is taking these individuals as individuals and molded them into a team. I want to take this opportunity if you all can stand up so we can thank you all for everything that you've done and the time and attention you've given to this class. Thank you. And with that being said, thank you all very much. I'll turn it over to Donovan and we'll see you in a few minutes.
families, if you would like to, at the conclusion, to come up for pictures on the stage with the background, you're welcome. You're welcome to do that. Again, congratulations. Let's close in a word of benediction. Our Father God, you, Father, are God of all justice and God all order. And God, you choose in your plan to call men and women to stand in that gap as police officers. God, between good and evil, light and darkness, to be able to handle the community issues, God, that uh, are troubling. So God, we thank you for these men and women as they are taking this position of leadership. God, I pray that you will just have your hand upon them in a very special way. God, we pray for your hedge of protection to be upon them. God, I pray that they'll see their calling as not just a job, but as an opportunity, God, as a, a platform to do good. And so, Father God, we don't know what the future holds, but we know who holds the future. So, God, we trust you. God, we seek you, and we're willing to do all that you have in store for us. You can bless us now as we go our separate ways. God, I pray that you'll lead, guide, and direct us. For it's in your name we pray. Amen.